Hi guys, Mel the Train Shooter here with the first of the Adepticon builds. This is build one. Right, as you can see, this is a standard 3x2 layout. Yeah, it's a standard box build. Yeah, the only difference is with this part of the back that's been left open. Now, you've got two choices here, gents. Yeah, you can leave it open and therefore leave underneath playable. Or, you'll have one of these spare out of your kit. Yeah, you can cut that with a saw. Yeah, a hobby saw. Do I have one present? No, I don't. Yeah, and then they can go in triangles at this point, and you can fix with hot glue, yeah, plaster card. So you'll have a 45 degree ramp, and then plaster card on the insides of these sitting inside of here. Now, the reason I say hot glue is PVA doesn't really work with plastic. Super glue, the surfaces aren't flat enough to get a decent join with, with super glue. Okay, so your best option when gluing and working with this sort of stuff and adding extra bits on which aren't sort of, you know, battle zone kit or hard plastic is what you call it is hot glue now moving on quite quickly it will have a 45 degree ramp now that is too steep for miniatures yeah you need a three in one slope for miniatures so if you want to put a ramp on it that people can go up you're going to have to extend it out six inches so you're going to have to extend it out to approximately there which just isn't workable now your crafting ability might be quite good and you might be able to put steps in i'll leave that down to you but let's look at the build okay so yeah standard three by two formation what i'm going to do is take you through how to put it together okay guys so that's the next step now when building pieces i recommend you build them in sub assemblies i build them in large panels that you can later clip together and glue together now this is broken down into a few sub assemblies the first one being the floor Okay, this this takes up what you call five of these pieces. Okay, uh, the walls require three of these pieces, which are the windows from the stronghold set and six of the walls from the stronghold set. Now you'll notice I've put connectors there and there. Okay, uh, if you're going to put any sort of, you'll be gluing these down, so they'll be perfectly fine, and the walls will lock in into position. You can put extra connectors there if you want. Yeah, I recommend that you glue the sub assemblies. Yeah, when you're gluing, it doesn't really matter what plastic glue you use. Just make sure you've got a very fine applicator for it, so you can literally run it right down those cracks and then let it dry before putting them together. Uh, dead zone stuff tends to be a bit finicky when you get a bit the larger builds and when you're applying pressure it can start to joints weaken it's like a kinetic chain uh, so really if you can glue these and then sort of mass produce say I know you guys are building uh, six to eight of these so literally build six to eight of all the assemblies let them dry before you put them together it will save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle now whether you have these on the top or the bottom is down to you okay I tend to have horizontal connectors on floors underneath the floors so underneath there is actually what models will stand on the reason being is it saves them tripping over etc so when it actually comes to building this yeah what we've got is we've got a, a panel like that okay and it's connected at the top there yeah with one connector either side and then i've just got two lugs on the insides of those and they would simply come along and they oh sorry start with the sides okay sides on the connect no, start with these sides. See, I'm starting good, aren't I? Right, start with these sides. Yeah, you've got a connector at what will be the top at the in closest to the sort of open edge and one at the top of the corner. So they go in. Yeah, uh, screwdriver, easiest way to app apply it. Push in, same on the other side. Yeah, so they're locked in. From that point, you've got these connectors already sticking out. Yeah, it's a matter of getting the side pieces and I put two connectors on the bottom, one connector at the bottom there, and then a connector for this forward wall. Okay, that will come in and lock into place there. Now I'm only touch connecting these, okay, because I don't want to break any of the connectors. Be aware that the stronghold sprues sometimes on the thicker watch it parts the plastic can get malformed and you'll have trouble getting connectors in there if it doesn't fit quickly and neatly cut the lug off glue it okay now we come over to this side and once again I've got two on the top of the pieces to connect into my floor uh, one pointing forward to connect into this wall and then a horizontal connector at the bottom of there yeah so that could slide in and it can literally just come in at the side 
And because that lug's already there, it clips in nice and gently. Yeah. And then all, all that remains is for me to put this one on. Now, if you notice, yeah, I've got connectors at the top on here because these holes were quite difficult to get into and I, I can't glue this. There's one connector either side on there. Yeah, they're all the connectors because the side connectors are already here. Yeah, and it's just a matter of rolling this up and dropping those in and clipping those in. Like I say, I've gone for the top here simply because yeah these thicker ones are far more difficult and if you're going to glue them it's far easier to glue now as a recommendation guys you see i should have some in here i recommend that you get yourself some uh black electrical tape because it is great for holding corners etc together while they glue yeah it comes off quite easily it holds it tight it adheres to the plastic really nicely yeah so what i would recommend is getting that built yeah and glued before moving on to the next stage okay so if we slide that across to there slightly move out of there yeah and then it's time to build the sub assemblies now you are going to require six of these barricade pieces okay now once again sub assembly process we have got horizontal connectors there Okay, we've got end connectors there and there, and then one at the top each there. Okay, we've then got two side assemblies. Oops, broke that one. This is why you need to glue them, because they do pop. Yeah, and they're basic L shapes. Okay, so we've got a connector there, we've got a connector there. Okay, and then we've got another connector there. And as you can see, the idea is that these would fit straight down onto the piece. And then, sorry, this one goes in first, and then these drop in like that. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky when you're building this stuff, because it's not brilliant. The amount of pressure you need to drop these connectors in can sometimes pop connectors out of other places. So what I recommend is you get a stack of something that is more than three inches high, i.e. more than one of the, the height of these tiles. And what you can do is, very quickly, yeah, you can lift your model up onto them. Okay, and what that does... <laughs>